What is the direction of the resultant of the two vectors A and B if A equals 24 units east and B equals 15 units south? So we have vector A, which equals 24 units to the east, and we have vector B, which is 15 units to the south. If we now do A, plus B, we would see, using the tail tip method, vector A, vector B, and we would see that our resultant vector C would follow this direction. Now, we drew in our axes and had the x-axis here, and this was our y. This would be the theta that we're trying to calculate. So, using SOHCAHTOA, so we find that uh, 10 of theta, this would be the easier one. You can use sine or cos, but in doing so, you would also have to determine the value of C, its magnitude. So, we're just going to go off the basis of what we're given, which is A and B. So, we're going to use 10 of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Remember, so toa opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is vector B, and our adjacent is vector A. Now, if we solve for just theta, take the tan inverse of both sides. So that gives us just theta on the left hand side. Now we have tan theta tan inverse of vector b over vector a. If we now plug in the values for b and a, so that would be 15 units over 24 units, and take the tan inverse of that, we would find that theta is 32 degrees. Now, you have to distinguish how it's with respect to the x-axis. This would be 32 degrees below the x-axis. If you wanted to go with respect to the x-axis, you would have to find the angle that goes throughout this entire loop here. We know to complete one cycle, that would be 360 degrees. So that would be the angle that you would tra traverse as you're going through a circle here. So the angle with respect to the x-axis would be 30. Uh, this is angle with respect to x-axis. W, R dot, T dot with respect to x-axis. That would be 360 degrees minus the 32 degrees, which would give us 328 degrees with respect to the x-axis. So the answer would be theta is 32 degrees below the x-axis or 328 degrees with respect to the x-axis. This 32 degrees below the x-axis is the answer we're looking for. 382 degrees with respect to the x-axis would be another acceptable answer, but it's not necessary as long as you distinguish that it's 32 degrees below the x-axis.